Oil is now the lowest it's been in five and a half years, at just over $51 a barrel. US oil prices have fallen even further. They're now at just under $48 a barrel. Both Brent crude and US oil have now fallen by more than 50% since the middle of last year. US stock markets saw sharp falls as a result. Investors are worried that the low oil price represents an overall weakness in the global economy. And some experts think this is just the beginning. Right now you are dealing with at least a million and a half barrels to two million barrels a day of oversupply in the first and second quarter of this year. I don't think anybody really expects U.S. production to be reined in until maybe the middle of the year. So uh, given how out of balance you are, I think it's entirely possible that you could drop into the 30 range. The oil price plunge will force energy companies to rethink their spending in Asia, North America and Europe in 2015. The question? In the long run, is the high cost of producing more oil worth the low price tag? Many experts say the answer lies in future demand. You will see greater demand. You're already seeing auto sales rising in certain parts of the world, and, and that's certainly a good sign for future oil demand. But, you know, it takes time. It's not something that's going to happen tomorrow, necessarily. So, so for now, we're just waiting to see what happens. But away from the oil rigs and market boards, this could be good news in family households. British Chancellor George Osborne tweeted he wants to see the fall in prices felt at petrol pumps, through utility bills and in airfares. So for many the impact of 